Yeah, so today in class, we talked about gender roles, and um, I thought we were going to have more time. That's why I decided to record that class, but we kept getting off topic and all that good stuff and talk about other things. But I want to hear everyone's opinion on um, gender roles and how you think, um, I guess, men and females should act. I don't know, because um, I know there are a couple of assholes in my class who are going to be stupid and say a whole bunch of dumb stuff that might get me mad, but I will keep my comments to myself or I will try but um yeah because we watched this really interesting clip about like with this little transgendered girl male to female and it looked like she was like nine or something and she had like long hair she was really pretty and um her parent was asking her um questions and she was saying stuff like I'm just a girl in a boy's body and it's okay to be different and all that stuff and then we watched this other clip where there was a lady saying like if your child is playing with um dolls or blah 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 or putting on dress or acting in a way you think they shouldn't according to their gender that it is okay they are just little kids they're just exploring that doesn't make them transsexual that doesn't make you shouldn't you shouldn't discourage it but you shouldn't like encourage it you should just let them be who they are just see who what they turn out to be because for all you know it could just be a phase or if it's like really important to them like um, you try to get them to play with other things and they really want to play with these dolls or whatever Just let them do what they want to do And then they had another video from Dr. Phil with this other doctor Who was saying that you should encourage your children because they don't know what it means to be male or female They really don't and that I think he got that point right when they're little you don't know what it means to be male and female You're just um, you your parents tell you a boy and you're like you're okay. I'm a boy parents tell you're a girl you're like okay they say I'm a girl I'm a girl and he was like we should encourage them we should steer them in the direction that their gender is like you should basically he was saying you should if they want to do more feminine things you should teach them how to do it in a masculine way if you're if you're a girl and you want to do more masculine things there's still a feminine way to go about it so you don't get confused and that's where I got confused because I don't know <laughs> I didn't really get into all of that, but I know he was like really against um, transgender people. He was saying that it was sad that the parents were encouraging this when um, when it was just going to hinder their child, and the parent was trying to explain that when they tried to disencourage it, it only made things worse. So they didn't know what to do. Um, my opinion on that is like I agree with what the doctor said. When you're little, you don't know what it means to be male or female. You're just like okay. I'm here, um, I have a penis, so I'm a boy, according to my mom and dad, according to the rest of the world. I have a vagina, I'm a girl, according to my parents and the rest of the world and whatever. But, um, like, I'm saying if your kid is playing with, let them play with whatever the heck they want to play with, because, like, I believe in imaginative play, I believe that you should put, like, a whole bunch of stuff out and see what the child goes for, because it does kind of shape who you want to be when you grow up but like like the doctor also said like when he was three he wanted to be a zebra so when you're a child you don't really understand any of this stuff but like for transgendered people I do believe that when they're younger and they're in the wrong body that that does um, form a kind of crisis for you because these kids they pick it up real fast they're they're like no this isn't I have a penis what no this isn't right for some reason they focus on that and I, I totally don't understand that because I'm not transgendered I am gay but I'm still I'm still a guy I mean like yeah I I like other guys but I'm still like I like being a guy in this I'm comfortable in the body and skin that I'm in I don't understand how it feels to be uncomfortable in this skin so I wouldn't judge anybody who was uncomfortable in that skin in the first place so if you feel you're not in the wrong if you're in the wrong body who am I to come along and say Hey, you can't say that. No, you were born a guy, so you need to be a guy. That's that's just wrong. I mean, you don't understand what these people are going through, so why are you even involved in it? Because it freaks you out? Because you're weirded out by people who are different from you? I think that's wrong. That's just total bullshit. I mean, you shouldn't have to worry about any of it if it's not happening to you. And it really doesn't affect you. Like, for real. So... I don't understand, and I kind of can't wait till Monday to hear all these interesting opinions, and maybe, I don't know. I know I won't be swayed, because I'm totally like, if you're transgendered, be transgender, 
and you know it's it's okay if you're you're who you are i mean like there's no all male way to be all masculine because there are masculine people who do feminine things and they're still straight or whatever and there's no way to be all feminine so i don't know it's just cultural it's just norms basically that screw people up because society says this is normal so you have to do this society says that is normal so you have to do this and I've I've never been normal. I don't listen to anybody. I do whatever the hell I want to do. So I go against the norms. That's just me. I I do what I do. I like what I like. And screw you if you think any different of it. This is just me. I'm gonna be me. <laughs> no matter what you say. I'm kind of cocky about it too. But you know, my mom says one day that's gonna get me killed. Probably. But um, <laughs> yeah, I just can't stand people telling me to be different than who I am because I don't want to be. I want to be me. And why shouldn't I have that right to be who I want to be unless I want to be a murderer or a child rapist or something like that? No, I don't want to be none of those things. I'm still normal, you know? All that good stuff. Just, just food for thought for me, I guess.